Disney World vlog. I'm here with my friend Sean. We're gonna do the fan meetup now, mm. and I'm not good at vlogging. We're at the fan meetup. Um, a duck showed up. That's the most important part, honestly. <laughs> Nobody else. Yeah. Do you guys want to be in the fan meetup video? Do I have your consent or no? You have my consent. Not, not from you. Okay. okay. Here's Sean. Hi. Say your name. Mama Karen. A person here who does not want to be on it. <laughs> and then, this is Cat, Black Room Nurse 13. Follow yeah. me. Duck. <laughs> Bye. Back to this duck, though. He's amazing. Someone photoshopped little Mickey Mouse hat on it. Look at this duck. Oh my god. He's hanging. What? Why? He didn't do that with me. We didn't have any. Come back. When will my duck come back for that war? <laughs> Look how cute it is! She's adorable. Or eat dinner or whatever. They got the cherry blossoms going somehow. Or what kind of trees are those? Uh, I don't know. It's like beautiful here. It's almost creepy, kinda, but I like it. It's like a creepy <laughs> and like a... If you got trapped in a demon's nightmare world where they're trying to trick you into staying. It's not real. None of us real. I know, and I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> in the Matrix, no. They're like, it's not real. It's too perfect. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> these boats, I mean these cars, are boat cars. And they go in the water. But you can drive, too. What is this place called? The Edison? Edison. My god, it's so steampunk. We got to sit in the comfy chairs because I asked. Don't forget, I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Never be afraid to ask for what you want, even if you're like, oh, what if I'm bothering them? It doesn't hurt to ask the last of my battery to say I'm about to do is avoid the Star Wars VR journey and we'll let you know how it is after we're done. I'm not sure how much we're allowed to to, to record. Star Wars, they put things on you. Do you like run around the room? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so I went home last night and passed out but Disney Void was amazing. It was like I don't even know how to explain. You put a harness on and this big helmet on. And I know if you've had the HTC Vive, you think, oh, that's like the apex of VR. But no, like they had like an entire, like I guess, warehouse. And the warehouse was set up to look exactly like how the VR looks. So if there was a wall in the VR, I could reach out and touch the wall and feel a physical wall. And I was like running around in the warehouse, pressing buttons, pulling levers that were actually there, like I could touch it with my hands. The only problem was that, um, what was I saying? The only problem was that they didn't have hand sensors for your hands. They were basically, I guess, using cameras to figure out where your hands were. And so sometimes my hands would glitch out and like be in weird places. But other than that, it was super cool. Darth Vader almost killed me. And it was just so immersive because there was this one part where you're slowly sinking into lava and you're fighting a lava beast. And you can feel the heat rising near your feet and getting more and more intense as you are getting closer to the lava. And I was like feeling a little nervous about it. It was, it was... Other than the hands glitching out, it really felt like I was on a mission in Star Wars. Like, for real. Because they basically made the game environment exactly the same as whatever environment they had in the warehouse or whatever. I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but they had the floors vibrating to make me feel like I was moving. Maybe I was moving. <laughs> I don't know. But I like walked from place to place, like infiltrated places. And you know, you don't, when you're playing HTC Vive, you're like wondering like, oh, am I gonna fall through this wall? No, every wall was really a wall there in real life. It just 
looked like Star Wars because you had the VR set on. I, I, it was so cool. And also, every time I you get shot by a stormtrooper, um, the vest vibrates depending on where you get shot. So it feels like you're actually being shot, but like it doesn't hurt. But for me, I kept being shot on my left side or my right side. And every time that happened, for me, it was exactly where my nipples were. <laughs> So I kept getting shot on my nipples, but I know that there's other parts on the harness that get haptic feedback because I accidentally shot my friend in the back of the head, <laughs> and he was like, I'm getting shot in the back of the head. So um, I don't look amazing right now because I just woke up, but I put my these new little hair things in my hair, and that's going to look so cute because I'm going to the animal kingdom today. And I'm going to vlog that. And I got the Disney After Hours for the Animal Kingdom. So I could go to Pandora and ride all the rides all I want. Because I know the lines are super long for that. So during the day, I'm just going to be relaxing, having a few drinks, going to see the animals and not bothering them. Just going to look at them and do the fun, relaxing things. Um, so I got my ears on to be thematic. And... Um, you guys will see all the cool stuff. I just thought I'd explain the void. I hope I did a good job explaining it. But I, I don't know how to explain how immersive that was. <laughs> okay, bye. Date. I should have done that blog with my makeup on. But regrets were made. Um, That's not Magic Kingdom. It's Animal Kingdom. Shut up. <laughs> We're at the be at the beginning, at the front of the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> in big letters in front of you. Well, I got it mixed up. Shut up. <laughs> oh, this is a boring shop. Look at this place. As soon as I walked in, people... I don't... I'm sorry. <laughs> I got asked, where are you from? What's your zip code? <laughs> Date of birth. And they're like, we want to know where you came to see the animals from. <laughs> We're gonna dox you! <laughs> I think they're just trying to prove that people actually want to come here. This is the first park I'm going to, and it's already beautiful. I feel like I'm in a forest. <gasps> well, I guess a lot of people don't realize that Animal Kingdom is basically a zoo with cool rides, but you don't have to worry about the animals being treated poorly here because they treat them like kings. That's what I like about Animal Kingdom because Sometimes you go to zoos and you're like, this is depressing. <laughs> but here, the animals are treated like absolute gods. You don't have to worry about anything. And they, they make sure all the merchandise and stuff won't hurt the animals. I just think that's amazing. It's so beautiful here. Like I walk in and I'm like, oh, I'm in a forest. I'm in the jungle. That's so great. You guys missed it because I wasn't filming, but these birds are allowed to fly wherever they want. They just choose to be here because they love it. Awesome. Like one of them just flew in and was like, this is where I want to be. There's a duck. <laughs> that duck's like, <laughs> broken. <Dude. laughs> the duck, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This whole, my entire vlog of Disney will be like different ducks I found. <laughs> it's gonna be rhinoceroses. Look at that duck! <laughs> Her, it's Ivy. Her name's Ivy, right? I don't know. Her name's Divine. Divine! Oh, sorry. No, you're good. I misnamed her. Will she punish me? Definitely not. <laughs> you wanna hop out? I couldn't find her. Everyone was looking at her and I was like turning in circles and I couldn't see her. She's beautiful. She's one of the only Disney actors who doesn't talk to anyone because she's part of the forest. I was like, this, this is, this is my like the one I really wanted to see. She was the Disney like, character actor I really wanted to see in all of the different parks because she's supposed to be like rare and beautiful. Everyone's like giving her so much space, like she's a wild animal. <laughs> Like, look, everyone's like, stick, give her her space. She's wild. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Look, she called the animals. No, sorry. Beautiful. alert another duck pride rock duck king of all the ducks <laughs> queen sorry queen of all the ducks guys important news i found more ducks like all kinds of ducks look at that duck that's a different kind of duck Count these down. are like exotic ducks what kind of ducks are they should they even be here or are they just they're feeding them lettuce. Welcome to my duck blog. You thought <laughs> it was a Disney vacation vlog, but it's just ducks. <laughs> Alright, so apparently it's hard to find Reeves Munchaks. So maybe Hmm. Well it looks beautiful. <laughs> Maybe they're around the corner. I keep thinking that the stumps are animals. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. It's right there. It is? It's right there. <gasps> there he is. Or she. Or they. Or Miss Jeff. Yeah. They're so tiny. Wow, they're real small. I know like people will be dig I know people will be disappointed like oh it's so small can't even see them but look how ballin their habitat is well, it's amazing can't even see it all from here yeah and that's great and that's what I like I'm okay with just seeing like an animal's foot <laughs> because I'm just more into like look how happy they are. Look how well cared for they are. And over here we have a big chunk. <laughs> That's the scientific word for him. He's actually a rhinoceros iguana. I hope they can hear me. He's. This is a rhinoceros iguana. He's also known as big chunk. He's sleeping. He's just having a good time. Duck alert. More ducks. Major duck alert. All the ducks. They're all being fed right now. Very happy. Oh, that one jumped. Hey, dude. What's up? You guys love your life here?
These birds have their own waterfall. <laughs> they just don't want to leave. Did I even record that? No, I didn't. Because I'm an idiot. We lost out on great content. I'm sorry. I always press the wrong button. Basically, Rosie Bill is a cuck queen. Yep. Lazy and lazy tags and other duck sniff. And this other bird is a shocking revelation to the animal world because it's a male who takes care of its kids. Yeah. Duck alert. But the ducks are in the wall wallaby. Wallaby? Wallaby. Why am I the stupidest person on the planet? Because <laughs> you saw a duck. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a wallaby. Wallaby. <laughs> I want to see the wallaby. They're probably off doing their own thing. Yeah. There's a big area over there. Oh, there is? On the thing. Well, you see it goes all the way back. Nope, that's just a stick again. That is a stick. That is not a wallaby. But there are ducks. There and are that's ducks. what's important. We've only gotten 10 feet into the into the park and I've only looked at ducks for 20 minutes. So, <laughs> we'll see how far we go. Ooh, scary. Oh. Theming. Oh, I thought there was going to be bats in here. Usually in the zoo part of things, they're like, and this is where we keep the bats. Ah. Did you guys know there was originally going to be a dragon land in Animal Kingdom? But instead we got Pandora, which is fine. And <laughs> bird! It's Kevin. <laughs> this is the newest uh, park animal guy. We found, we found a giant duck. <laughs> a giant duck. <laughs> duck alert. You can see how big he is. This is Kevin from Up, the newest, uh, I guess, character actor. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yet again, I am unacknowledged by a bird. <laughs> He's <a> photo body. Blue one. Kevin with the tree of life. Bird alert. <laughs> Would you like to explain it? I would. So Lotus Explore is a scavenger hunt around the park where we get to learn about animals, culture, and plants here at the Animal Kingdom. And we can go home and teach our friends all about the program. Yeah, so do I get like a little pamphlet and then yeah, just do the thing? Yeah, we have a really awesome book for you. You get the book. It has 29 badges you can earn all throughout the park. When you get all 29 badges, we have a really awesome Senior Wilderness Explorer badge for you. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I would like to do that, please. Awesome. <laughs> because well, I'm an adult. <laughs> of course, we accept explorers of all ages. Now, a Wilderness Explorer has to learn the call. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, so we hold up our fingers in a letter W. Okay, well, I'm yeah, here. Here's a W with three fingers. There you go. We say a wilder the wilderness. The wilderness. Must be explored. Must be explored. And we make our bird. 
And our bird goes, Ka, 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 Ka. Hold up our lion claws, give me a best roar. Roar. Congratulations. For you've earned your very first bat. Really? Yeah, yeah. I have Oh my god. Bat. It goes in your book. So okay. That book. And we put it right here in our book. Oh my god, this is such a You're fun activity. Welcome. Thank That's you. Have a great time. Thank you, you too. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Here's the tree of life. If you guys don't know, a ton of artists did a lot of stuff for the Tree of Life, and all of these carvings are made of like cement and silicone, I think. Well, it was originally an, an oil rig that they had repurposed for the frame of it. Yeah, they flipped it upside down, yeah. right? Welcome to Disney Facts and Ducks. <laughs> and kangaroos. And kangaroos. There's a kangaroo over there? There's a kangaroo over there. We gotta get in. We gotta get in. Even the roots of the tree have animals in them. Kangaroos and vultures. What? Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Whoa! It's the circle of life right here in front of the tree. Flamingo badge. Woo. I need those stickers. <laughs> I need them. <laughs> so you get the flamingo badge if you find the flamingos. What a really fun interactive thing to do. There's that one flamingo. Like I need my a space right now. Oh wait, no. He's sitting on a lady, or she is hidden on. Somebody's sitting on someone. Now, do you like flamingos? I think they're fabulous. Do you think they're fabulous? What's your favorite thing about them? That they're pink. They're pink. Do you know why they are pink? Because they eat shrimp. You're right. Do you want to know what the compound inside of them that turns them pink? I would love to know. It's called beta carotene. Uh huh. Uh, so if you've ever heard the, if your babies eat too many carrots, they'll turn orange. Oh, yeah. So it's because of the exact same compound. So beta carotene is also found in carrots. So if they eat too many carrots, they turn orange. But flamingos eat too too many shrimp, they'll turn pink. But we want them to turn Will pink. I turn pink if I eat too many shrimp? Uh, no. It's different chemical pathways. Oh. Uh, uh, so I think it's just, they've just been adapted in flamingos and people to turn slightly You gave me a dream and crushed it immediately. You can turn orange if you eat a bunch of carrots, maybe. It's not the same. It's not the same. You can find paint at your local store and turn <laughs> Can dye your hair pink? Oh yeah! No, I can't because my best friend she goes on the pink color palette. If we cross over, she'll kill me. That's okay. You don't have to. You can do it on the underside. She <laughs> Underneath. <laughs> Underneath, you can hide it. Well, here is your flamingo badge. And we actually have two types of flamingos here at Animal Kingdom. We have our lesser flamingos, and we also have our greater flamingos on Kilimanjaro Safari. Uh huh. Um, there even there's also the Caribbean flamingo. We don't have it here at Animal Kingdom. Hi, they are pretty cool, so you guys go home, see if you can learn something about the Caribbean flamingo. Okay, cool. thank you so much. Cool. You guys have a great time. Did, did you get one? No, you Oh, I just had a book. You just, book. okay. Yeah, we're good. Bye. Oh, so you guys have a great time. You too. Here they are, just wanting to be left alone. And we're all bothering them. Yep, paparazzi. <laughs> Please, no photographs. Uh, we're just trying... Don't look at me. I'm only just right in front of everybody. But don't look. Sorry. Don't look at me. I'm too gorgeous. Why won't the paparazzi leave me alone? Like, ma'am, you're outside in the street. <laughs> Did I just victim blame flamingos? I think so. Oh. I'm canceled. LGB LGBT plus ears from Disney. Woo! They started making these for gay days, the unofficial gay event. Or Disney, in case you guys ever want to worry about people being mean to you at Disney. These they're are super supportive. They're super supportive. These are supposed to be very popular, which makes me not want to get them because if I'm going to be here, I want to get ones nobody wants. I'm really tempted to get these. Super tempted, but I have to hold off. Now we have cotton top tamarinds. Oh, he just ran out of camera. He's very shy. Off in the distance. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Wow. He looks so distinguished. Like he would be insulted if you called him cute, you know?
All right, so here's his habitat in case people like want to know if it's good enough. He has his own house. It's fully paid for. He has no debts. He has he's paid off his mortgage thanks to Disney. And he has a best friend slash mate. I don't know. I don't want to put labels on it. So I feel like he has a pretty good life. Or she. I don't know. Sorry. Wow. Living the life. Debt free life. Paid for condo or home. They own their own land. Like 50 times their size. Dude. Yeah, they live in a mansion. Hey, did you know that you live in a mansion? Wow. There's a lot of areas in this park that are just gorgeous. I think people call this a half day park because there's less rides, but they don't take the time to just enjoy the scenery. Okay, let's see if I can... Excuse me, sir. Yeah, can you... Make it so the pole's not in the way. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to interrupt your uh, cleaning process. I just wanted to know. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's going in, He's there. Really in there. He's in that. That's a stork, by the way. He brings babies. Oh. What we have here is a saddle build stork. Reduce your pesticides. Yep. Because it's bad for him. Yep. Mostly lives in Africa. Coming up the back of the tree, you can see a lot of other animals. A centipede. <laughs> they put the uh, less cute animals in the back, I see. <laughs> God, I found her. Some sort of tentacle. Octopus? Yes! My favorite marine animal. Octopus. I love you. I love you, octopus. The most intelligent of sea creatures. Underappreciated because you don't have the ability to pass on your intelligence to your young and they always have to figure it out all by themselves every generation. Do you know that if uh, cephalopods could pass on their intelligence to their young, they'd be a lot more advanced? Some people think they would have civilizations, but because they don't, and they die. And that's why we need to make a government lab to make a race of super octopus. Octopi? Octopi. No, I, actually it's both. They're both correct. I looked it up. Because I didn't want to sound like an idiot when they're like, My favorite animal is the octopi! Where's the hedgehog? Where? Right there. To the right. Is, is, Sonic! Found the dragonfly. It took a while. Oh, there's actual dragonflies here. <gasps> oh my god! That's so cool! <laughs> so what happens is, just like when we get too like big for our clothes, when trees get too big for their skin, they will actually cut a hole and then they'll wiggle around like this for like 24 hours. And after that whole day, what happens is, they kick off their old molten and they run away with their new skin, which is pretty awesome. So can you imagine being um, doing that like every time you've got bigger, you have to like grow new skin for your clothes? But imagine the exfoliation. <laughs> it would, that would be very nice. You would come yeah. out like no wrinkles, no acne. So I feel like it'd be worth it. It might be, but it is kind of a stressful process. So wow. after they have molded old skin, their new skin is actually very delicate, so they're very, very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. so usually about like a after a chemical peel. Exactly. <laughs> so if you have to wait like a week usually between like them molting and them kind of hardening up to feed them if you have like a parent in your care, yeah. um, that it can 
feel safe when we don't damage anything. Their fangs are especially delicate, and if they form the wrong way, they won't be able to eat it all. Oh, my so babies! Yeah, exactly. So we can actually help them by making sure that we are respecting them as they are kind of in that vulnerable state. Now, do you guys like spiders in your houses? I do. I let them hang out. Let them hang out? Well, if you don't want them in there anymore, it's completely okay because we actually ask for appreciation. You don't necessarily need to have affection for them, right? <laughs> no, I appreciate them. I say, thank you for killing the other sp other monsters, but don't touch me. Yeah, and that's okay. <laughs> that's all we ask is that we appreciate our spiders. Now, one way, if you don't want them in your house anymore, that's completely fine. It's a really easy way to remove them. Have you guys ever heard of a bug taxi? No. <laughs> Oh, well, First of all, it's fun to get a decorated cup, or you can use a regular cup. Sure. And you put the cup right on top of the bug, slice the saber, put right underneath that, and then you can carry it outside. I recommend going tens of foot to your door because one time I didn't do that, and I went like this, and the lizard just went right back inside my house. <laughs> which was not the intention. Did not work. But if you take him to the way and then let him go, usually the spider will be able to live on his merry life eating all of the monster bugs that we don't like, that, are, that we do appreciate because they're food for our spiders, right? Mm -hmm. All kinds of food. All right, well, congratulations, explorers. You just got your insect badges. Yay! The, ma the males are um, all black like that, and the females are usually um, kind of a bunch of different colors. It's exciting for me as a female because it's one of the only species where the female is more exciting than the males. <laughs> you know, like ducks, they get the fun green head when they're a boy, when you're a girl, you get the brown head, which is makes a lot of sense, right? Because it's camouflaging, so if you have eggs, you don't want other predators to find the eggs. So yeah. instead, you're that brown color to blend in, so it's harder to find you. Uh, so she, uh, the he, sorry, it's is okay. a jumping spider. He's a jumping spider, just like Lucas the Spider. If you've ever seen Lucas the Spider, mm -mm. No. oh my gosh, you have to go on YouTube and look up Lucas the Spider. He's the cutest, most adorable thing, and he's a jumping With spider. With the giant eyes. Yeah. Oh, the baby one. Yeah. Oh. And actually, that's the character of the jumping spiders is they have those big giant eyes. Now this guy, I don't. Oh yeah, if you if you come from this angle right over here, you can <laughs> see he's got bright turquoise fangs. <gasps> look at that. You look amazing, sweetie. So he's doing he's doing a good job. You're doing today. great. And they're actually cool because they like tra they like to make their trampolines and they'll jump between trampolines in order to catch their prey. They're living their best life. They're living their best life. Africa. For what I can tell, Disney tried to be as respectful about all these things as possible. So. Yeah, so I think they had consultants and everything, so we don't have to feel guilty. Well, let me know if I should. <laughs> Butterfly. Make your hands up, feel shot. Shut up. <laughs> oh, we're at Harambe. We're at Harambe. Do you think we should take our dicks out? Harambe? Only cool people take their dicks out for Harambe. We gotta take our dicks out for Harambe. I had to film my food before I started eating it. So this is what you get. This thing is so good. It's like a... I don't know how to explain. It's made of coconut cream. So if you're worried about that coconut texture, don't worry about it. It's just a cream that tastes like coconut. And I really like it. Because I like coconut. I just hate that stringy texture that you get sometimes. Fibers. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. It's like when you get it fresh out of the coconut, out of a fresh coconut. That's what it tastes like. And this is the sausage or the pork sausage. It's like a, it's like a, I guess... I assume an African themed hot dog. And it's so good. It's garlicky and a tiny bit spicy. There's a lot of different flavors in it. It's just good. It's goodness. What'd you get? I got a <clears throat> beef rib bowl. Huh? We got short ribs with uh, greens and rice. Mmm, traditional. Has sort of a cur uh, cumin type of flavor to it. A little bit of a crate sort of flavor. <laughs> Here we are, same wonderful lady. <laughs> 
tricked and me. One. And, and a new one. one. Yeah, new friends. New friends. So, so what are the sticker here? We are at Habitat Badge. Ooh. Okay. So we're on page 23. We're going on an animal scavenger hunt uh -huh. to find okay. my animal stand-in friends. Because if we tried to find the real ones, they might run away on us. Okay. But on page 23, you have all of this animal friends hidden over here in my backyard between the skinny tall tree. And the train station sign at the end. When you find them all, come see me or Casey. We can get to your back. Do we have pencils? We have okay, this is important. Good, because we needed a writing utensil. There we go. Can you Thank do you. the thing while I, I film? It. Yep, I'm on it. You're going on YouTube. Be on You're going to be a star. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh, ladybug. Ladybug. Butterfly. There's a dragonfly over here. Where? Right there. Right there. Right there. Uh, and a uh, caterpillar. Caterpillar? You see a caterpillar? Right there. There's a praying mantis. <laughs> praying mantis. So we got, so we got butterfly. Butter Ladybug. Butterfly. Butterfly. And then we got. What else are we looking for? A bunny? Mantis. Hello. A tiger? <laughs> I don't think it's on the list. <laughs> oh. No. A turtle. You found a turtle? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, spider found, and a tarantula, tarantula? Okay. with his babies, her babies. A lot of babies. Right here. They got all the right babies here. going up. Oh. Wait, are those are those actually babies? No, those are ants. Oh, they're ants. Those okay, that ants. counts too. <laughs> those are not baby spiders. What are we missing? We're missing a beetle and a rabbit. Okay. A rabbit's you... down there. Oh, There's thank you there? so much. Thank oh, you. That. There's a rabbit. There he is. There's a bee. Oh, and here's a beetle. Oh, you found the beetle too? Yeah, right here. And the rabbit's down there. That's down there. Oh. There's, a, there's a bee right there. Do you see the bee? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Tiger. I appreciate it. We need, we need to find a bat. Oh, we need to find a bat. The bat is in here. This little kid is helping me a lot. So over here, the bat. The bat. He's in a tree. Whoa! Good job, thanks, dude. Find a bat. Thank you. I need to find frog. Frog. So the frog is super candy floss. She likes hanging out in their places with water. Uh huh. So where in my backyard might be some water? The water place. He's under here. He's really hiding. Hello. We Did him. we get him all? We got him. Did we get it? Did we get we the sticker? It. I have that badge for you. So, yes. do you know why we were trying to find all these animals? Don't know. They're all endangered. I don't know. Not necessarily, but they're all animals that most people can find in their backyards. Okay. And they all play a really important That's role terrifying. in the system to make sure that we don't have too many extra little critters. So like my bat friend, uh -huh. he eats mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. So I want, I'm not a fan of mosquitoes, so I'd rather have a bat hanging around. So True. I built a bat box in my backyard. It's like a little wooden box that I put a little hole in because they like dark places. And mm -hmm. they're nocturnal, so they'd rather have dark all the time. And then that way, I haven't seen a bat yet, but I have seen less mosquitoes. So I'm hoping that it's working because I'd much rather have a bat in my backyard than a mosquito. You know, you can make little um, houses for the solo bees, the bees that only live by themselves. Oh, cool. And you can make that for them. And that's supposed to be really good for your gardens and stuff. Awesome. So the other one that's really cool is we call it a toad abode. You get one of those terracotta uh, plants, put it on its side or like three quarters of the way over. Mm -hmm. um, because they like that warm, damp spot. So that hides in there too. So if you want to have your garden filled with beautiful animals. Beautiful animals. You can plant a pollinator garden, have a toad abode, and a bath box. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. So I have that really cool habitat badge for you. Cool. So I have friends, so I have four more badges down here at the end of the halfway. Thank you. So it looks like you're getting ready to bring out an animal friend too. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. 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 Is this a bowl python? Python. Python. Angolan python. Oh. oh Angola. Yes. Come down in that Nothing sense, there's a lot of landmines and oh, such out there. So nobody that. goes out to collect oh. these so studies. Them, so this is a mm. rare species mm. even in captivity. Wow. <laughs> I used to have a ball python. Can I can oh, yes. I love him or her? I can always see that. Him. 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 <gasps> oh, I miss well, you. Uh, oh. This is Sir Hiss. Sir Hiss. Yep. Yeah. 
He's you, been knighted. Well, I was wondering if you knew what show that was from. Mine used to that curl up around my lovely. arm. You do know who it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just missed my snake. Right. You're just away from home from him, or? No, her? she passed away. Oh. But she was like, she used to like curl up around my limbs, and I'd let her. Are I know nice it was for my warm? warmth. And I know she was using me for my warmth, but I pretended it was love. Oh, who's to say that there isn't some sort of thing that they really don't think they are capable? But it's like, I think they're finding with a lot of animals more and more. And we're back here, away from his face. You want to pet it? Yeah, yeah. yeah we can just say don't pet the face, because pretend it's you. Oh, I don't like when people pet the face. Well, that's just strangers in the face. Hand sanitizer when you're done touching. Oh, just, so I could just snatch these down, badges. We, don't get the train ride. we could just steal them. <laughs> well, I mean, we weren't going to steal the stickers. We're fine. We're, we're legit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, do what do we, we do? All right. We have the uh, first aid and the food. Ooh. This is page... Uh, 25 and 26. Draw a line it? connecting the creature and the nourishment that it needs. What do you okay. think? Baby elephant needs mother's milk. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, frogs need... I think insects, right? Yes. And ostriches need oyster shells? Yes. Sure. To make their eggshells. Ah. When uh, I was growing up, I uh, grew up on a farm. We raised off chickens all the time. Oh. And uh, would uh, feed them oyster shells. Gotcha. So that the eggs would be nice and strong. Oh, because you get the calcium in that. Yep. Mm. Mm, Mr. Skeletal. Yes. So we got the badge here. Yes. And then we got the first aid one here, huh? Yes. What about those that. extra ones? Uh, they, you get this and this up here. Oh, okay. So we've got something wrong with the sea turtle. What do you think is wrong with the sea turtle? From this uh, He has eaten trash. Yeah. He's okay. a blockage in his or her intestines. Yep. From bad stuff. Is there Pollution? 70 different pieces of plastics and things of this nature. Goodness, that that's they a lot. Found in it. The turtle, when they brought the turtle to us, it couldn't eat or defecate. And uh, so we had to do something, so we x rayed her. And uh -huh. then we gave her uh, something special to eat to make things move out. Yeah. And uh, it took us about five or six months. But we got her back to health and turned her loose. And she's in the Gulf of Mexico the last time we saw her. Oh, she's doing great. Thank you. I got the sticker. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Amazing skeleton. I've been to Hall this is Halloween party I go every year. And I I go with Jack Skeleton sometimes. <laughs> show me your book and I'll show you what to do. Okay. Right there where your thumb is. Yep. Look at this recycle bin. You can come over here. Okay. Okay. At the recycle bin. And okay, we're here. Same numbers on the bottom. Same numbers on both okay. sides. You're going to look at the first number and tell me what it is. Okay. 24 3 is C. You got the idea. Dude, are you a coder? I yeah. am. I code all the days. 12 is O. And then 13 is N. S. E. E. Wait, this is the next one. R. R. Next. Five, five is V. Okay. And then 22 is E. Hmm. Oh, conserve. Nice. We got it.
Do you recycle? You are safe. Yes. Okay. If you turn the lights out, you leave room. You are safe. Yeah. How about when you brush your teeth then? Are you cleaning in the mirror and dipping all the corners? Is the water off or off? All right. Stir that water. Now we know the answer to the question. Yeah, we live in California. You don't turn the water off when you're brushing teeth? No, we know that we know. Yeah, we told Yep. We got that. We got that. All the time. All right. This one? You're going to write turtle and go look at the x-ray and decide what happened to that turtle. It really did happen. I was at the hospital when they brought him in. They did not think they could save us. Thank you. Thank you. Got our word here. I'm sure. That's a big word, dude. That is you a big word. Means? It means to protect the status quo. No, I don't think that's what well, it is. Oh, yeah, sort of. It's easier to just say save. To save. Re reducing. Yeah. When you leave a room, Someone turn the light out. You are saving power. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. When you're brushing teeth, and think about it, you're grinning in the mirror, getting in all the corners. Mm -hmm. Is the water off or on at that moment? You want to get that off. Yeah. yeah. In the shower, I get wet, and then I lather up after what to turn the water off, and then I turn it back on to rinse. Extra points for me. Let's You're losing. Serving. I'm losing. <laughs> okay. Are you bur You're brushing your teeth? I assume you gotta brush your teeth and save your teeth. Obviously. Well, what if we just don't you brush your teeth at all? Well, you need to save your teeth too. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need as much water to save your teeth, though. No. Well, that's up to you, son. Or your teeth. I'm gonna keep. I, I'm 80, and I still have my teeth. They're not great, but I got them. No, I mean I'll brush. It's just I won't use the water. Have the water on the whole time. So that's. Well, you're not supposed to. No, I know because you're supposed to conserve. You've been trapped. You've been had. <laughs> she trapped you. Ah, she, <laughs> she tricked you. She got me. <laughs> she got you. I got him on the defensive. <laughs> he got scared. <laughs> well, I don't blame him. I got, I got him here. I don't look at it much because it scares the tar out of me too. Ah. Have a wonderful day. I will. You too. Take care now. Hello. Hello, welcome folks. We're here okay. to get our badge. Okay, if you want to open up page 18, I can I give you your ham did. radio badge. Oh, good. And then for the secret code word, it's code Y, and that's the radio right there. What? Does it not work? Or? No, it's not working right now. Um, oh, so we just get it. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you the answer. It's code Y. And the it was the code 600 or code A? Um, 600. Oh, 600? Usually we'd be able to like listen in or yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. All right, so there's a bunch of rules. Yep, don't wander. Don't go off the path, basically. Don't start taking plants. So I guess we just hope that we see a gorilla. I would assume. I mean, and so this whole area is gorilla world, right? We got birds here too. Oh, well. Hopefully some ducks. <laughs> wow, they have like a whole big thing. I think they've got something over here. Oh, they're all just hanging out. Yeah, just on the wrong side. The Columbus monkey. There's a little baby over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there. These little bad boys usually don't like being seen. I've gone to zoos that have these guys before and they rarely ever actually come out. So I'm actually very appreciative that I can see this guy in real life. Only relative to the giraffe. Wow. He must feel like really inadequate. It's how you use it <laughs> that matters. But like they, these dudes usually do not like to come out to the front. 
so I feel pretty lucky that we get to see, what are they called? Okapi. Okapi. Yeah. So I've been to zoos before where they're like, shh, don't bother the okapi. Maybe. You might see them, maybe. Maybe. They got the long tongue too. Oh, baby. Even the paths here are just so pretty. Just walking around is good. <laughs> it is good. Big Chongas. African bullfrog. That's a big Big Chongas. Here's some naked roll mat mole rats for any Kim Possible fans. They're kind of cute in a weird way. Apparently they can live for a super long time in low oxygen environments, so that's neato. Yeah, I am! How do you identify birds? Oh Woo. no. You know the first step to identifying a bird? Looking at them. Finding them, you got it! Uh, <laughs> wow, you're better at this than I am. Just so, using your eyes. First great thing, bird baths on track birds. Let's, we've got a bird bath over here. Okay. There's an orange one. Yes! You think you can find it on my lovely list? I'll van white it. The, the, you got it. That's that a golden, golden weaver. weaver. You might even be able to guess at the bottom and want to know at the bottom of the list who what bird is making a nest. Tavetta Golden. Any idea? On the uh, bottom. Uh, Who's making a nest? The Tavetta Golden. Weaver! You got it! Hey! We build a real it. small nest. It's almost like they're part of the tiny house movement. <laughs> the male makes the nest, the female decides if she likes it. If she doesn't, the guy's gotta build a wow, house. That would be really convenient for me. Sometimes the males are smart and they do make more than one house. They understand diamonds or donuts. You gotta give a woman options. <laughs> Look at that bird just loving it. I know. I have to. I have to find all of these birds. We don't have to find all of them. We'll see if we can find another one. Okay. Uh. What? Ooh, no, little... it's not on our list. Um, but how would you describe it? Brown, long tail, crested oh, yeah. head. Perfect. Kind of a mousy brown color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a long tail. It is a mouse bird. <gasps> yeah, if it was hopping around on the ground with that color, it would look like a mouse and it has a long tail. Cool. cool. Yeah. And then you found me and my name's Dove. Hi. Does that count right? Are no, you a bird? I don't think it I'm a You have to tell guy. us. Uh... <laughs> oh, birds everywhere. Uh, everywhere. And the one that just flew real close with the long tail. I'll show you a picture of it. Oh, the green one hoopo, that bird can aim its poop seven feet with perfect aim. Wow. That's just one of the interesting facts. I'm Why would you. it want to? It's a, <laughs> defense. It's defense. defense. Ah. Another interest, uh, number two. Or, wait, did we just talk about that? Maybe. Poop defense? It smells like number two. Oh, it smells uh, like poop. That's a Another great defense. Uh, not many animals want to eat a bird that smells like that. True. Oh. True. I'll go ahead and get your badge since yeah! you have half of them. Scammed. I mean, I earned it. <laughs> totally. If you want, when you get to the pond, you can keep an eye out for the pygmy goose. That's another fun one. The world's smallest duck. When it's born, duck it's the size alert. of a marshmallow. A marshmallow peep. What? Yes. And they the, make their nests in trees, too. Where are they? Tell me exactly. Let's walk down there. Okay. We don't have any baby ones right now. I don't they're, care. They make their nests in trees. Way too tiny. Um, and one day old, mom and dad are like, if you're going to eat, you have to leave the nest. So they can't fly at that age. So it's like Tower of Terror. It's a drop straight down. Uh, they weigh where as much are as they? The marshmallow peep. Sometimes they bounce when they hit the ground. Mm -hmm. About 15 minutes ago, they were swimming on this side, but I don't see them right now. That's um, okay. I'll find them. Here it is. Duck alert. Smallest duck in the world, I think. Huge Napoleon complex, though. Oh my yeah, god. They get aggressive. They pick on the bigger birds. And then the bird across from it, that one further up, the hammer top, uh -huh. they build one of the largest dome-shaped nests. It's like a 100, 200 pound nest. It's got a roof. That's big. It's so large in the wild they share with other types of animals. The natives nice. thought they were shapeshifters because they would go in and something else would come out. Uh, hey, check it what? out. What? What? Oh, the golden weaver's nest. Amazing. It's on the thin branches so the predators can't get out to get to them. They fall off. The entrance is from the bottom. Oh, makes sense. And the males can essentially tie the knot. Uh, so nothing can take it off. Get it? Hi. So this one here, we have a midsummer from Africa. 
Are you from nice Africa? Nice to see you. Yes. What part of Africa are you from? Botswana. Can you say it again? Right over there. Botswana. They got a map of Botswana right over there. Uh huh. Just north of South Africa. Yeah. So if you're planning to do the safari in the future, um, mm -hmm. feel free to visit us and get to the safari down the line. It looks like there's a map right behind you there. Cool. Looks like it, yeah. It's a small country, about mm -hmm. 10 million population, so it's more like quite chilled and nice. And you will see. <laughs> Don't be scared, yeah? Yeah. So feel free to go and like, you know, get to explore my country. Yeah, I love it. I mean, it's quite different from here, but it's nice. Thank you so much. You nice meeting you. Gonna poop? Probably. Good for him. So I'm in the animal kingdom. I haven't even done any rides yet. We're just looking at all the animals and we're doing the scavenger hunt and I'm still having a lot of fun. I think a lot of people think that this is a half day park because of the lack of rides, but the animal exhibits are gorgeous. They're so beautiful. And just knowing that the animals are happy and learning all the stuff, that's really fun. And getting the badges, that's also really fun too. So it's not really a half day park, it's a full day park if you include the animals who are all just happy to be there. Like even if you can't see them, it is beautiful. Just sitting here and chilling. So Animal Kingdom, 10 out of 10, not even done. Also, you can drink here. You heard it from me first. Shooting Kilimanjaro Safari. Those tire tracks are fake. They're a lie. They put them into the cement and, and, and printed them. Not for the conspiracy vlog. Disney is all full of lies to make you think that you're happy. But what's the difference between thinking you're happy and being actually happy? Nobody knows. There literally is no difference. There's no difference. <laughs> That's what depression tells you, like, you're just being tricked into being happy, and I'm like, isn't that just happiness? <laughs> Thanks a lot, depression. So, Bobby Driver, as we head into the reserve, the wildlife reserve was established back in 1971. Our first stop is the interior forest, where the animals will use their coats and marks to camouflage themselves in the wild. By the way, if the water level gets too high, just roll your windows up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a very Jurassic Park okay. feel here. Let's head into the reserve here. Okay. Okay. Looking around here in the far right, I do see the okapi. The okapi have the legs of what look like to be zebra, but they're not zebra. They're related to the giraffe. They even have little bumps on their head called osicones, just like giraffe, at least the males do. You guys see the okapi, yes? Mm -hmm. Hey, if you think the Okapi look cool, <laughs> you should see the original. Oh, it's pretty bad, wasn't it? These over here, drill up. Those are bongos, the ghost to the forest, the largest to the forest antelope with the cinnamon colored coats. Both male and female bongo do have horns. Now, this over here is a kudu. Female kudu do not have horns. However, the male kudu do. Kudu. <laughs> <laughs> they are the second largest to the field antelope. They look like deer, but they're not. The kudu. Oh, kudu, kudu. There. Looking for the black rhino. There you go, guys. There's a black rhino. They have a little triangle shaped prehensile lip that hangs over their mouths, making it easier to pick up their food. Rhino can run as fast as 35 miles an hour. However, they can only see about 7 to 8 feet in front of them. And so a group of rhino are called a crash. Uh... Yeah, I'm not making this up. They really are called the crash. It's so all. cute! That is true. You see, you think he's huge. A black rhino, that's the smaller of the rhino species. A full-grown black rhino is only, only 3,000 pounds. Oh. 
Oh, is that all? That's all. That's all. Very slim. Slim and trim. Yeah. Alright. Looking around up here. Set over towards the Safi River with a chance to see Hippopotamus. Hippo! Hippo can be up to 5,000 pounds oh, fully grown. They'll stay in the water most of the day. They'll hold their breath about five minutes at a time. And when they come out to eat, they'll eat about 20 to 30 pounds of food. Yeah, that's a lot of cabbage. Let's so we'll see if we can find some hippopotamus here. Mm -hmm. Nope. I do see those fallen trees over there. The word hippopotamus roughly translates to water horse or river horse, as the case may be. Hippopotamus. It's like the T Rex, like, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> A group of hippo in the water are called the bloat. B L O A T. Right now, I'm not seeing anything. Look over here. On the island, however, are a pot of pelicans. Those are the pink backs. The pink back pelicans, they get the pink color around mating season, which is not now. It's a lack of pink coloration there. Pink back pelicans. Still going to hold out. Holding on here for. I feel like we're going to tip in. <laughs> we can. Hmm. It's embarrassing that I'm not seeing any hippo at all. It could be deep in that water somewhere and make it really hard to find them. They're really good at hiding. Crocodile, however. They deserve their sp a group space. Of crocodile are called a, a basque. On land, crocodile on land called a basque. You might see some with their mouths open, right? That's how they regulate their temperature. They're ectothermic. And uh, we stop the open mouths with the They can bite down with a force of 2,000 pounds per square inch. Yeah, that will crush human bone. Which ecosystems, leaving the dense plush foliage of the Safi for the more arid, drier grasslands of the Serengeti. Serengeti, the superhighway for millions of animals and their migrations across the African plain. Up ahead, chance to see what appears to be an inverted tree. <laughs> it's called a baobab tree. Three months out of the year, the branches will grow leaves, generally during the rainy season. Of course, it's not the rainy season now, as you can tree. tell by the lack it's of leaves on those islands to with blood like branches. It's made out of cement. Head over here towards a beautiful overlook. The view we're striving so hard to protect for future generations. In the efforts of the Disney Conservation Fund, the DCF. Yeah. Looking for a giraffe, everyone's always looking for a giraffe. A group of giraffes are called a tower. A tower. Male giraffe fully grown 20 feet tall. A female giraffe fully grown 18 feet tall. Ooh. However, a baby giraffe when born can look a full grown man right in the eye. But the gestation period for a giraffe, 18 months. Yeah, that's twice that of a human. Talk about commitment. No. So we're looking for a draft of and I see one or two over there. Oh, coming up now, the wild dogs, or the painted dogs of Africa. They have the calico-like markings, the black, brown, and white, and the highest success rate for catching prey over any animal in this event. Wild oh, dogs. So as cute as they look, as adorable as they appear, as friendly as you think they are, these are fierce, vicious animals. They're still good you boys. You do not want these as pets. Wild dogs, take a look. Your homework is to look up the sound of wild dogs. The blood curdling, spine tingling, fear inducing cry. It really will change your life. More on that later. Yeah. Uh, sable and look to the left over there, the emblem of the Haram Bay Reserve. Sables, long curved horns, two to three feet length, whichever has the darkest coat, be it male or female, that's the leader of the herd. There's a giraffe over here. Now, these are termite towers. Termites mix their saliva with the dirt and dung to get them to be as hard as concrete. And what they can use them as a crouching post and wear them down. Termites. Here you see the end bearing stages the decay. They need to know the truth. Giraffe over there on the right. Yeah. 
Papo uses tongues to reach up way up high in the trees, grabbing those, grabbing the, the moss. You see, it looks like candy, a little bit of moss. Candy moss. And here you see, here you see the Ancoli cattle, or the Watusi cattle, the cows of Africa. That was massive horns. They do look heavy, but they're not. They're honeycombed. They can circulate their blood through those horns. Dead horns. The Ancoli. Since they were domesticated by the Watusi tribe, sometimes they're called Watusi cattle. That's the Ancoli. The giant blood horns. They may look like your everyday ordinary average cows. But they're so cute. You look at these cows. The one thing probably going through your mind right now, the one question you're wondering to ask, but you're too afraid or too ashamed to ask. So I'll go ahead and answer it for you. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. What's the question? They do go moo. Oh. <laughs> Baby giraffe. These are the younger ones. Here they come. They're all known as Maasai giraffe for the very splotchy look of their design. Maasai. You can see the splotchy look they have in the pattern of their bodies. Well, up here I do see wildebeest. Wildebeest are part of the larger herd of land migrating animals. Wildebeest. You might know the wildebeest by their other name, the Nu. Spelled G and U, pronounced Nu. Not GNU, just Nu for the grunting noises they make. Nu. Wildebeest. There's some gazelle over there. And there you see some eland as well. An animal that doesn't look like a wildebeest, that's an eland. eland. They're the largest of the field antelope. You saw the kudu, these are their larger cousins. Although they're not fully grown yet, a male eland fully grown is about 2,000 pounds. All in and amongst the wildebeest over there. Heavy. Now, a small herd of wildebeest, which is what you see here, that's just a small herd. However, a really large herd of wildebeest is known by another name. I mean, a large group of wildebeest. That's known as, get this, an implausibility. Ah. And don't look at me, I didn't name them, that's what they're called. You can check it out. It's Googleable. Google. That's a word, right? Googleable. You see the small animals over there? Those are called springbok. Fully yeah. grown, three feet tall, that's as big as they get. The springbok kind of look like s'mores with legs. <laughs> well, they do. And they can reach speeds of 50 miles an hour. Let's head over here towards the mandrels and elephants. Mandrels are probably the most colorful monkeys in the world. Colorful marks across their snout and on their hind end. A group of mandrels are called a troop. T-R-O-O-P. There's one of the males right there, he's handsome boy. Red and blue snout, yellow beard, white chest, and purple took us. That's a head. He's the biggest of the monkeys there, of course, the male. See one of the females, that's a baby one there. See some of the other ones as well, but only the male has all those colors. And now all you can see of him is his, there's nothing, he's hiding. He's back over there somewhere. He's a big guy, he really is. Handsome boy. Elephants! Do you guys know why elephants flap their ears? Oh. To keep cool. They have their veins and arteries in the back, so the ears by their head. Flap on their ears since air current down their body. They can drop your temperature 10 to 15 degrees. There you see one over there, dig away up on that tree, and trying to pull some leaves down. Yeah. That's one of the males. Here you see his hiney, and his trunk stretched out. The sign says road closed, otherwise I'd go over there and see what he's doing, but we gotta head over here instead. That's fair. Hmm. I'm not sure that bridge is gonna support the weight of the truck. Hmm. Oh, Doesn't look very like, safe. Seems like a planned Doesn't event. Doesn't look very sturdy. Take a see some duct tape over there. It's been reinforced. I think we're gonna be all right. Let's head over here. See if we can find some more elephants. Now the herd is managed by the oldest female. She's the matriarch. Tis true. And for lucky, I always see tusk marks. Scraping their tusk through the clay. We might be lucky enough. There's some more tusk marks here. Footprints over here too. So we might be able to see some elephants if they haven't gone too far.
That's okay. There's a butt. There's a butt over there. She is about uh, 2,000 pounds and was spotted by my truck. Usually uh, causes everyone to suddenly go, uh -huh. for no apparent reason, after the count of three. There they are. That elephant does not seem happy. His ears are back and looking at us. That's over here too. Not seeing the little one. She's around here somewhere. That one right there. He seems mad. She could be in that little group yeah. over there. Mm. There she is. One, two, three. Aww. So there's an easy answer to that. What country are we on? What, country, what continent are we on? Africa. So there you go. So therefore, they were African. You uh, wouldn't have Asian elephants in Africa. So those are African. About right. Over here I see a flamboyance. A flamboyance is a group of flamingo lordies to the greater flamingo. They get the pink coloring from the brown shrimp on their diet. The brown shrimp give them the baby carotene they need to turn pink. Otherwise, when born, a flamingo looks like a dirty white cotton ball with gray legs. And regarding the issue of African elephants, these are African also because their ears are bigger. Uh, <laughs> Let's head over here towards the east savannah with the hopes of seeing some white rhino. Due to the introduction of a new white rhino in the reserve, we will not be able to stop through this portion of our safari. White rhinos uh, get their name from the African word for wide, which is light. The E I T. Thick boy. The wood of their mouth is long, low, and wide on their snout. The distinction between black and white rhino have nothing to do with the colors, black or white. It really doesn't. White rhinos have larger heads, their heads hang lower on their bodies, and they do not have the prehensile lip of the black rhino. Tis true. Over there I do see Montebuck. Those are not rhinos, those are Montebuck. Oh, but guys there who used to be on the endangered species list, but no more. Since being added to the reserve, the numbers have now returned to a more acceptable range. The name Montebuck does mean colorful buck. That was for the dark coat they have on the side of their further from the distance has a sheen to it that looks purple. So the neighbors saw it and thought that was colorful, hence the name Colorful Buck, or as we call it now, Bonta Buck. Hmm, I'm hearing rumor now of Cheetah, the fastest mammal in the world, reaching speeds of 65 to 70 miles an hour. A group of cheetah are called the Coalition. Look, a wild Ooh, Chevrolet. Is it the only wild cats that do not roar and chirp? But also the only wild cats that cannot retract their claws. Cheetah way over there. Look I don't see them. See them. Well, they're, li they're lying down in the trees. A couple of them over there in the shade. Maybe I'll see them in the footage. What's the largest of the wild cats? The pride. 16 to 18 hours out of the day, lion will remain inactive. So the odds Me, of the same wild are pretty slow. The king of the beast, the lord of the jungle, the apex predator. All words used to describe the male lion, but it's the female lion that does the hunting. That's right, the girls. They're the ones that get to bring home it's the not bacon. lion, but... <laughs> the guys, uh, they lie around, take care of the cubs, and occasionally practice their roar. Rhino! Oh, lions to the left, but I also see some white rhino to the right. And don't forget the white rhino on the right. There's your chance to see the white rhinos on the right. Oh, that's pretty. There's actually two lions. The other one's over here. Yeah, she's in the weeds. 
It's right over here now, towards the uh, largest of the burrowing animals. Typically, that would be the warthogs. Although I only see evidence of the warthogs here because of the burrows. So I'm not really seeing the warthogs right now. More white wild. rhino to the right over there is the same ones. Take a look. That's not a baby. That's oh, all full grown. Oh. One's just lying down. <laughs> no babies. Sassy. And those are ostrich, egg, ostrich eggs. Very likely infertile. Thick. However, uh, the male ostriches uh, have black feathers with white trim, which I haven't seen in a while, so very likely those eggs are infertile. Hey, if you want to see more animals, check out the Gorilla Falls Trail. That's where you'll see Grevy Zebra, Baby Zebra, Gorilla, Baby Gorilla, Meerkats, Baby Meerkats. All that on the Gorilla Falls Trail. That's right, Meerkats. You didn't quite see a warthog, but you need to see a, a meerkat. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Here we are now in the Magadi clan. Look at around here. Guys, I think that about wraps up our safari. Wait, wait, wait. That's the entire safari. Wow. Well, you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. And fruit flies, like bananas. What you think about that? Hey, if you enjoyed your safari today, my name is Mike, and this was symbol one. And now it's time for your pop quiz. A bloat is a group of... Hippos, a crash is a group of rhinos. rhinos, a basque is a group of crocodile. crocodile, a tower is a group of giraffes, a flamboyance is a group of flamingos, Flamingo. a coalition is a group of cheetah, a pride is a group of lion, lion. an implausibility is a really large group of wildebeest, wildebeest. that's right, there we go, very good. Don't forget your homework, look up beside the wild dogs, it really will change your life. It changed my life. I used to be a blog. Oh, oh, hard to believe, right? Let me let them know we're coming back to the top. Hold on a second. Let them go. And just a The Upgrade Adventure. What everybody, Disney World tries to stop you from getting drunk at the parks by making all the drinks nine dollars but that didn't stop me <laughs> did not stop me i've been on a mix of alcohol and coffee by the way only drink when you're an adult and you're safe and you have somebody to take care of you exactly and make sure that like you're not going to do anything bad and don't drink and drive i actually have only had two drinks i just have low tolerance actually don't drink at all drinking's bad ducks yo ducks I got this drink for you, but I don't think you're into that. Yeah. 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 I don't get food, I'm sorry. Oh, somebody's on a runny nose. Parking lot, this looks so small, but coming up from here, it looks enormous. It looks like a full size mountain. That's how they trick you. Same thing with Pandora. From the parking lot, you're like, that's just some rocks. <laughs> but from the scaling here, because what they do is they make some parts smaller so it seems bigger. Oh, there's some people go. The tracks are broken. Why are they letting them do it? Oh no! Wow, 
I wonder what culture these uh, tattered flags are from. Uh, that seems like a big drop to me, Sean. It's not that big. I just saw it with my eyeballs. It doesn't feel that big. My way. eyes it saw it. <laughs> Hi. Enjoy this pensive meditation before being thrown about on a mountain in terror. Oh look, it's a Yeti footprint. Dino Rama, a parking lot. It's so jarring. You start off the park in a beautiful, magical, like, forest, and now you're in literally a parking lot. <laughs> This place makes no sense. <laughs> he looks like AJ when he's tired. Like that's how AJ sleeps when he's really, really tired. We're at Sanaa, the place where you can see animals while you eat. I'm trying to respect other dinner patrons' privacy, but not, but they're here. <laughs> I get to look at animals while eating dinner. Spicy goodness. A bunch of naan with a bunch of different sal salsas and stuff. We saw a giraffe, but it's getting too dark for it to be clear. And I don't want to keep filming the window. I want to enjoy the dinner. It's just where they want to be. So cool. They're right there as we're eating. We're back at the Animal Kingdom for after hours. So usually flight of passage takes like up to five hours to wait for. And um I got us after hour tickets so that we could enjoy the park without having to wait in any long lines and then we come back and there shouldn't be any long lines whatsoever in the whole park. Nope. So we're going to try and enjoy that. So we're here at after hours and it's very rainy but they said that there weren't a lot of ticket sales tonight so the whole park is to ourselves. So Pandora, Pan, no, I keep calling it Pandora. Pantera. Pan Pandera. <laughs> but it's Pandora. It's gonna be all to ourselves. So we can we can ride uh, something, ride of passage as much as we want. Rivers of Light, dinosaur, anything we want, yep. over and over again, forever, <laughs> until 11:30. And uh, but it's raining, and so I need to get a poncho because it's kind of cold. <laughs> Bye. I'm gonna show you everything. I hope all like the uh, glowy stuff is visible in the rain. It should be. Yeah. It's the glows. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like the water's gonna stop it. <laughs> I have my poncho now. Gorgeous. I'm safe. This is high glamour, and if you don't get it, yeah. welcome. Oh wait, hold on. I'm just bad at wearing this. <laughs>
It has a duck bill. You don't understand. You don't understand me. There's the tree of life. All lit up. Woo. Everybody's leaving and we're coming in. <laughs> Deal with it. Also, there's a special show just for after hours guests that we'll be able to see. And I'm excited about that. They're, yeah, there's there's supposed to be light shows, right? Yeah. When every when all the non ticket all the normies leave. <laughs> Here's the giant pod that you're supposed to pet until it squirts. <laughs> And I'm really not sure why they thought that was like good. <laughs> Dude, if yeah, if you pet it, it squirts. Okay, I'm doing it. Okay, pet the glowy spot. Just keep petting it. You did it! You got it off! <laughs> Moisture everywhere! You just jacked off a plant. <laughs> <laughs> now we have other people following suit by also touching the plant. Do that. Yeah, if you touch the plant, it Good squirts. Spot. Now everybody wants to jack the plant off. <laughs> We started a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we started a trend. I also would like to to Go touch to love. Um, no, I just want to be erotically <laughs> close to this plant. <laughs> What's the underside? Do you like that? Do you like it like that? Oh, it oh, you're you're that. a dirty bitch, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking into this shit. You sick fuck. Ooh, you hear the food you sloshing love. around in there. Yeah. He's about to go. He's about to get it. Oh there yeah. He goes. steamed. He steamed. That's my guy. Let me get in under the underneath a little bit too. They like that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to see, but the bioluminescence is like popping tonight. And since everybody is leaving and it's raining, it actually, huh? Down below. What? Look down, on, like at the ground behind you. Oh, the ground is glowing. Yeah. Also, my fingers are glowing. Yeah. They're actually supposed to be black, but <laughs> they're glowing blue. They are. They're fantastic like that. But since everyone is leaving and it's raining, it kind of adds to the like, oh, we're really on another planet. <laughs> If you're going to visit Pandora, <laughs> Pandora, nighttime is the time to go. Clearly. Oh yeah, there's this area with giant carnivorous plants. And if you're here during the day, people will come by and be like, these are the doobity dot plants of ubi boo Big ass mech. They close all these shops down once we start, but you get all the free ice cream and snacks you want after the stuff. So we're trying to get, uh, see if we can get a banshee in before we leave. They, everyone leaves. They cost a lot, but I kind of want one. <laughs> You can like totally get all these plants on your own, but the way they theme these plants is wild. Like all of these plants you can just do on your own, but I'm tempted to buy them because they're so well themed. Don't! It's, it's mean. Okay. It'll make it use up its, its energy for no food. Here's a nice life-size Natiri. That's uh, okay. Hey, 
we're in the uh, we're walking through the ambient line of rivers of whatever they put a lot of effort into making things look like real so it's raining a lot my poor ears are wet people are wondering why I'm talking to my phone yeah. Yeah, you're talking to me that's what it is oh yeah sure for yeah. sure you're not weird at all Oh, we get to see all the cool stuff at least. Yeah, everyone was like running. <laughs> yeah, we're not stopping for anything. We're getting on this ride. Okay, so here's the bullshit. We're supposed to get water and free ice cream. All the free water, ice cream, and snacks we want. But they know everyone's gonna be in Pandora. And they put the free ice cream and snacks in Dino Land <laughs> and in what was it called? Discovery Island. Discovery Island. There isn't even a ride open at night on Discovery Island. Nobody's in Dino Land. They know we're all here. I don't know why they wouldn't give us the free snacks here. This guy's is bullshit. Turned off all of the the pre-ride fun stuff to look at. Like the lights are off. What? You didn't need it anyways. I did. I, this is the part I want to see because everyone said it was so immersive. I'm pretty bummed. Hey, Dr. Stevens, they're ready. Can everyone see me? Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran Microparasites. Alright everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. You've all got them. Oh, oh no! <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Right, stand still over your number, you're not gonna feel a thing. <laughs> you're doing great. Almost done, man. They're all clear. Great. Now let's go over how all this we have works. Pandoran like STDs. I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Navi. They're created by blending human DNA and Navi DNA. Once we match you to an avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that avatar. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads her science team. <laughs> Literally the jazz. Great, you've all made it. It's important that you can all see for a while. Even if you can't. Before we send you to the link chamber, let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Sorry, I talk shit ever about Pandora. I just did write a passage. It was like flying for real. <laughs> and now, even though my feet hurt, I like busted my butt right back up that line. Cause I, that was crazy. They like blasted Pandora water in my eyes. <laughs> and I was like, this is what it feels like to fly. This is reality. I'll do anything. Like, <laughs> made fun of people like, I'm so depressed that Pandora is not real. <laughs> No, I'm not that guy. I don't know what to say. <laughs> we got, I'm sorry. This is our life now. Just running up this line forever. <laughs> the banshee well, pledge. Your hand, so I don't really will you hold the banshee? Yes, I will hold the banshee. I okay. Repeat after me. 
Okay. By carrying my banshee on my shoulder. By carrying my banshee on my shoulder. I promise to protect and respect. I promise to protect and pr re respect. The natural world. The natural world. Both here on Pandora. Both here on Pandora. And back home on Earth. And back home on Earth. Will not take Kame. Will not take Kame. All right. Good job. I did it. I did it. Banshee. Woo!